Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to QCR. On today's episode of QCR, I'm gonna show you how I dethatch the grass by only using my lawnmower and not having to go rent expensive equipment like a dethatcher or buy a dethatcher. So I'm gonna show you how to do it with my lawnmower and I have my bagger. So let's do a little walk around on my lawnmower. So I got my height setting right in the middle, two on this side, two on that side. Put this right in the middle. I'm gonna take my bag off of here and I'm gonna lift this up. I drilled a little hole right here so this can stay up. I'm just gonna make a few passes on this grass. We can see how thick it is. This is from my last mow. We can see down in here, all the junk down in there. We gotta get all that junk up so that the grass can grow correctly. Get everything down the soil. Right up. I'm going to show y'all how I do it. Alright, so let's go ahead and get us a few passes in here. So I took the bag off. Got my bungee set up. So we can blow it out the back there. And uh, that'd be that. I'm going to show you how to do it. And then I'm going to walk through the steps. So what we just did, we cut the level down from there, from this level to this level. And we did that for a reason. The reason is, we're actually gonna bring this down a little bit more right here. We're gonna drop our blade even further to the second notch. So we're gonna lower our lawnmower enough to cut that little thatch on the bottom there. And it's really going to blow out a lot. So what I like to do is stand on the right hand side. I like standing on the right hand side of the lawnmower. Because as you can see, it's kind of blowing out to the left a little bit. So if I stand over here on the right, uh, it won't hit me as much. So let's do it again. Let's make another pass. And I'll show you all just how much it's going to blow out. All right, so let's look at what we just accomplished here. That was the original level. Cut it down to this level here on the left. And this top in the middle of uh, what we did after we lowered it. So, come in here, see all that gross stuff under there. It's in there. Now on this side, see we got a bunch of it up. So now what we're going to do Well, the bag is full, so I'm going to get a trash bag I'm going to show you how much I empty out It's actually a lawn and leaf bag, not a trash bag So you can see it's full of all the clippings. And that's how much is in. So, as you can see, I just made a single pass and you can still see a bunch of stuff in there. So it's gonna take two or maybe three passes. Um, when the bag on the lawnmower gets about halfway full is when you should change it or empty it out. I actually uh, let it fill up too much. When it fills up too much, you're not able to get anything in the bag, so it just stays here. So we'll make a couple more passes. Show you all this right here. Thatch, get all this thatch out. All that dead grass. 
and get all that out. Just a few more passes. So we got bag number two here. Want to empty it about halfway. When it's halfway full, empty it into your trash bag. All right, let's go look at it. So you can see I still got, there's still some in there. I don't know if the camera's picking it up or not. Still some in there. Right there, you can see them. Key is you're gonna have to do this probably two days in a row. Do it in, in the morning, the next day come out, and do it again. Let's get down here and look at it. So you can see there's still a little bit in there. If you're wanna, gonna wanna get all that up, you just have to do it a couple days in a row. Get that up. That's if you don't have a dethatcher. If you have a dethatcher, then probably easier to use a dethatcher. If you don't have a dethatcher, you just got a lawnmower. That's how you do it. You drop the blade, put the bag on. Or drop the blade, cut it, put the bag on. Get that junk up. Make multiple passes. Let's see here how much came up. It's just not getting put in my bag. Cause I didn't empty my bag correctly. Just make multiple passes. Next day, do it again. You'll get all this junk up. I'm gonna show you what I did yesterday. So yesterday I cut this part of the grass here. Zoom out. So it looks white, but in a couple days it'll be green again. I didn't make multiple passes. You can see how much is still down here. Look at all that. That's why I'm not making multiple passes. This is just hiding under the grass and making it harder for you to mow. So you mow every week and you're like, hey, it's getting hard to mow. I mow every week, why is it so thick? Well, all this junk is down here. All that junk is sitting under here. So lower your blade, put your bag on, and, and suck this uh, thatch up. Just suck it all up, get it out of there. So here in a couple hours, I'm gonna make some more passes over here. I'm gonna pick up all the junk. And this is how many bags of stuff I picked up. One, two, three, four, five. In this little area. Right here. Just making a single pass. So if you have a pretty good sized yard, that area there, probably get 12 more bags of stuff. Make a multiple passes. And then, next time you go to mow, it won't be as hard for you to mow. So I'm gonna make a pass on this side that I did yesterday. That grass is still wet, it's still early in the morning. So I'm gonna make a pass over here with my bag on. I'm gonna show you how multiple passes pick up more stuff. So I did this yesterday and you see me make three passes there and back and look how much I got. You just gotta do it multiple times. Make sure you got your bag on. Make sure it's all cut down and you'll soak it all up. There's still a bunch of stuff on the ground. You just gotta do it multiple times. Get all this junk out. This is bad for your lawn. Get it all out of there. Uh, let me get my bag. That white grass. Well, it's not white. It's just the crunchy stuff that didn't come up. Let me multiple passes. And this is what we just did. I made multiple passes on this just now. Get down in here. Look at this crabgrass, you can see that. Nobody wants crabgrass. I'll zoom out and zoom in. Get that junk out of there, nobody wants that. So when you cut it short, you can see just how bad, bad it is in here. You gotta get all that junk out of there. Make multiple passes, this is trash. All that threat, that thatch that's in there. Got me multiple passes. Get that junk out. You can see all your bad stuff you got in here. Cut it short. 
gives you an opportunity to get all this junk out. Put your bag on. Soak all that nonsense up. Somebody driving by on a bicycle. So this is the bag I got so far. See all that trash in there? Oh, I'm spilling it on my driveway. Just this little area I got cut. And it still needs more passes, but it's still damp right now. So I'll wait till after the sun comes out real good. Raj, it's starting to warm up, starting to sweat. Um, that's how I do it. I mean, you can go rent a dethatcher and do it your way if you want to do it your way. Or if you just have a lawnmower and want to do it the way where you don't want to spend more money, do it the lawnmower way, put your bag on, set your blade, cut it, lower your blade, cut it, put your bag on, and start soaking up all that dead grass that's under there. Hi everybody, we just got finished. Uh, finished up with the front yard and it's a lot of work. I got a different shirt on because I had to go somewhere, shower, change, do some stuff. So let's, uh, let's look at the results and see what happens. So here's one side. Uh, let's look at it, see what we got. So there's a bunch of trashy grass under there. Nasty. Bunch of crab grass. And I still didn't get it all up. I have to come back again tomorrow, get a little bit more. See, it's still a little bit left right there. I have to come back again tomorrow. Look at look how trashy this is. Right here. It's just like gr crab grass and gross. So good thing I detached it and then I can get some crabgrass killer. Get rid of all that nastiness. My whole yard is full of that nonsense. Uh, all over the place. Just a bunch of crabgrass. I'm glad I did this. It's a lot of work. Uh, all over the place, crabgrass everywhere. So, went back and did this side again. You can see this is all crabgrass. That's all that is right there. Nasty, nasty, nasty. So let's look at uh, my results of how many bags I filled up. I'm sweating, it's hot. Let's see how many bags we got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 bags of thatch, grass and thatch from my dethatching. That's a lot. Look at all this trash. This is all trash right here. Just trash nonsense, crabgrass. Comes all the way back up here. Disgusting. Gotta kill all that nonsense. All right, let's walk back to the garage where it's shaded. All right, guys, so took quite a few hours. Um, something I didn't cover earlier is why I took the bag off uh, for the first pass. It's when you do it in the morning, the grass is still damp. So that damp grass will clog up your chute on your lawnmower. So you don't want that to clog up. It's pretty horrible trying to unclog that every 17 seconds. So take the, uh, take the bag off, lift it up, let it all blow out, uh, or if you do it in the afternoon, it might be dry, either one. Um, but that's what I did, so that's how I continue to do it. Let it all blow out. Um, if you decide to rent a thatcher or dethatcher, they're probably a couple hundred bucks. You have to make a bunch of passes. You got to cut your grass down low anyways. Make a bunch of passes. And then come back with your lawnmower and pick it all up. So. It's almost the same thing, doing it with your regular lawnmower, uh, bagging it up with your bagger. You don't have to go buy a dethatcher or rent a dethatcher. De Alright, well, I guess that's it for today. Uh, give me a thumbs up, guys. I really appreciate it. It's hot out here. I did a lot of good work. I didn't record all of it because I know you don't want to see all of it. But you can see my results. And here in a couple days, the grass is going to be nice, bright green again. Turn my sprinklers on. It'll look good. All right. Give it a thumbs up, guys. Share this video. Take care.